Hello students, welcome back to my English lesson. Today we're going to talk about skills on pages 22 and 23. Please open up your copybooks and write down new words. Mouse Mouse Keyboard Keyboard Webcam Webcam Screen Screen Speakers Speakers CD DVD drive CD DVD drive Scanner Scanner Printer Printer and Now please take a look at the exercise number one. You have to use the phrases to make sentences about the items in the pictures. Упражнение номер один. Составьте предложение о том, какое устройство для чего используется с помощью фраз, а также компьютерных устройств, которые изображены на картинках. В качестве примера Webcam Веб-камера See people through the internet Видеть людей через интернет Как вы видите, было составлено предложение, используя фразовых слов See people through the internet и с помощью Webcam Мы используем веб-камеру, чтобы видеть людей через интернет We use a webcam to see people through the internet. Следующий пример. Print documents. Распечатать документы. We use a printer to print documents. Мы используем принтер, чтобы распечатать документы. Таким же образом вы можете продолжить следующее предложение. And now, please listen and check your answers. We use a webcam to see people through the internet. We use a screen to see files. We use a CD or DVD drive to read CDs or DVDs. We use speakers to listen to music. We use a mouse to move around the screen. We use a keyboard to type. We use a scanner to make a copy of a photo. We use a printer to print documents. Exercise number two, reading. Read the title and the first paragraph in the text. What is the text about? Listen and read to find out. Please watch the video very attentively. Smarter than the average house. Would you say that you live in comfort? Do you have machines around the house to make your life easier? Do you know how clever a house can actually be? What is a smart house? When you are out of the house, does your fridge call the supermarket to order food you have run out of? Or does your heating system communicate with the bath? When you get back home, does your house recognize you and say hello? The chances are your house doesn't do these things. But for the house of the future, all this and more is possible. Researchers say that technology will change your home in a way that you can only dream of. Nanotechnology will clean your windows, smart spoons will check how hot or cold your soup is, and the walls will sense if there is anyone in your garden. Imagine living in a house like this. Your electrical appliances will be smarter too. You won't need to check to see if the food in your fridge is fresh. The fridge will do it for you. The next generation of fridges will use the internet to get in touch with the supermarket to order some more. Payment will also take place online. So the days of popping out to the supermarket to buy a carton of milk will be over. You are on your way home after a long and tiring day, and the only thing you're dreaming about is a hot, relaxing bath as soon as you get home. No need to worry. In the house of the future, just text a message to the heating system and it will have warm water ready by the time you get in the door. It may even have the water running, so as soon as you walk through the door, you can jump in the bathtub and relax. And there is more. Scientists say that even the doorknobs in our future homes will be intelligent. If, for example, you are carrying some heavy bags, then a smart doorknob could open the door for you. 
and it could also lock all the doors of the house and contact the police if a burglar tried to break in. Living in a smarter house will make life safer and a lot easier. People will have more free time to relax and do the things they really enjoy. How soon do you think this future will become a reality? So what is the text about? The text is about a smart house that will use technology to make our lives easier in the future. Please take a look at the exercise number 6. Listening. Listen and match the people to the activity for which they most often use their computer. А теперь послушайте, как Брэндон и его семья Эмили, Аллан, мама и папа чем чаще всего занимаются, когда используют компьютер. А здесь приведены примеры с A до H, чем они чаще всего занимаются. При ответе на вопросы на соответствие вы должны сопоставить элементы в двух столбцах. Первое. Download music. Скачать музыку. Play computer games. Играть в компьютерные игры. Surf the internet. Сидеть в интернете. Send emails. Отправлять электронную почту. Отправить письмо. Download films. Скачать фильмы. Burn CDs. Записать компакт диск. Chat online. Online chat. Do homework. Выполнять домашнее задание. Good morning. I'm from the school newspaper. Does your family have a computer at home? Yes. Great. Do you have a few minutes to answer a few questions? Sure. Go ahead. Thanks. Right. First of all, what's your name? Brendan. Brendan. Okay. Got it. Right. Well, I'm doing a survey about what people use their computers for. What do you use the computer for, Brendan? Oh, that's easy. I sometimes use it to burn CDs, but I mainly use it to play computer games. I love them. Okay. What about the other members of your family? My little sister Emily loves music, so she burns CDs all the time. Does she download music too? Actually, no. My brother Alan does, though. He knows all the best sites. And your parents? What do they use the computer for? Well, actually, my mum doesn't really like computers. She says surfing the internet is a waste of time. She does sometimes send a few emails to her friends, though. And what about your dad? Oh, he uses the computer all day at work, so he doesn't use it a lot at home. He sometimes uses it to surf the internet to find out information, but he never downloads things or plays games or anything like that. OK. Thanks very much for your time, Brendan. You're welcome. And now... Please check your answers. Your homework are exercise number 3A. Read the text and answer the questions. Для выполнения третьего упражнения повторно прочитайте второе упражнение. Соответственно, ответьте на четыре вопроса. And now, exercise number five, giving advice, should, shouldn't. Imagine you are an ICT teacher. Use these phrases to tell the class how to use the internet safely. Use, should, shouldn't. Упражнение номер пять. Модальный глагол should используется в форме рекомендаций. Здесь говорится, представьте, что вы учитель ИКТ. Используйте эти фразы, чтобы рассказать классу, как безопасно пользоваться интернетом. Используйте should, shouldn't. Например, you shouldn't give your name to someone online. Вы не должны никому или постороннему человеку передавать свое имя в интернете. Как вы уже заметили, здесь используется фраза give your name to someone online. Таким же образом вы должны составить предложение. The lesson is over. Bye-bye.